Congratulations on your victory. Thank you so much. Just get the details first. See, we saw you limping. We see you come in on crutches. Do, do you know the extent of your injury? My shin. I kicked his knee about 40 times, and it's fucking, it's haunting me. That's, that's it, just my shin. Everything else is good. There was speculation that maybe there was a broken foot. Is that a concern? No, my, my ankle was actually a bit banged up coming, coming into the fight. Um, we were practicing leg kicks in camp. Um, so it was a little bit swollen coming in, but it's the shin. I kicked his knee clean. I think it was in the first round, and then I just kept kicking. So I'm feeling it now, but um, other than that, I am perfect. An incredible fight between you guys tonight. This was such a personal personal mission for you. Can you talk about how you're feeling right now? Compare this. I mean, you're a world champion, but this meant so much to you. Is this is this a better feeling than that? You know, this 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 was a hell of a important fight for me. Everyone from the media to the fighters wrote me off this one. Um so they tried to say if I lose this one I'm done. Um, they tried to discredit the fact that I'm going up in weight. He was 25 to 30 pounds heavier than me. I don't care what anyone says. He was a big boy in there. He was easily 190 pounds. I was 167 leaving for, for the fight. And I was saying to myself, I need to eat, try and get up at least over 170. But I've no doubt he was, a, he was about 190 in there. Um, it was a hell of a fight. I feel I have more skills. Um, but boy, is he one tough motherfucker. He keeps on walking forward. He took every shot. I dropped him multiple times. He just keeps coming. His face was bust open, and he's still coming forward. But um, I learned from the last contest. I stayed calm. I bounced the shots off, sh off my shoulders. I stayed tight in the pocket. I knew I was going to have that moment where he was going to be in my face and dig his uh, forehead under my chin and start unloading. So I caught shots and, and deflected shots and then hit him to the body a couple of times and it turned the momentum again in my favor. But it was a hell of a fight. Um, he's a hell of a competitor. The whole, the whole lot of it brought out the best of me. It forced me to look at myself truly. Um, I'm, just, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for, for my coach, John Cavanagh, for everything he's doing. I'm grateful for the team I had here, um, all my sparring partners that came out, Dylan, Connor, John Michael, um, Peter Queeley, Artem, Eric, um, Roddy, my, my, my striking coach, um, my cardiovascular training was monitored by, by uh, Dr. Julian Dalby, who was amazing. Colin Bourne also was, was on board. I, I just had a rock solid team of people. Um, Ido Portal as well was out again. It was great to have him back. I'm just very, very happy with everything. It was a hell of a camp, hell of a preparation. And we got it done tonight. It was not easy, it was a war. I'm happy it went that way. Um, I got to show my heart in there. Um, I took it to him, and, and, and I stayed in it and, and got the win, so I'm very happy with it. Despite all the tension between you two, at the end of the fight, he reached down and gave you his hand to pick you up. Did that surprise you, and what did you think about that moment? No, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a class competitor. He's, it's, it's intense in the build-up, and everything is real. If we saw each other in the build-up, if my team saw their team, something's going down, and that's just the way it is. But... Respect is earned through battle for me and for them. So this battle was won. We'll regroup, we'll go our separate ways, see what happens, and we'll, we'll gather up for another battle. And then it'll be right back where we started. Last thing I have for you, Connor. At the end, you said that we can do the trilogy fight at 155 pounds, your terms. Does this mean 170 is done for you for good? Has this been a lesson for you? I, look, I, I want to I get my abs back. I don't have abs at this weight. You know what I mean? I've been trying to get abs, and I'm like, fuck, I can't get abs, even though I'm eating good. Um, sometimes I feel I'm a bit of, of a bit of a fat belly. Um, um, so, uh, look, I'm going to go back down way. I'm the 145-pound champion. Um, the 155-pound is there. When I fight Nate again, it will be 155 pounds. It, was on my, it will be on my terms this time. I came up, I didn't make any excuses or any stipulations to try and get this win back. I had it exactly the way it was previous. I said 170. He got even bigger from the first fight. He was, he was way bigger than the last time. So he, over that five months or whatever it was since the last fight, he grew. So I knew I, I was up against it. And I was thinking in my head, maybe this could be a mistake. But I said, fuck it. I train hard, be smart, learn from your mistakes, and go in confident. And, and that's, what, that's what I done. And that's what we did. And I'm happy with it. Um, but I believe if we do it again, it will be 155, maybe, 
maybe for the belt, who knows what, what, what's next. Hey, Connor, congratulations. Um, first of all, I wonder, you knocked him down uh, three times in the first two rounds. Any of those, did you feel he was bad, bad enough to go after him and try to finish him on the ground? I know you called him to stand up. Yeah, I, I, look, I cracked him. A, I mean, I dropped him three, three times, I think I dropped him, yeah. Um, I could have went in there and, and, and pressed, but I was, again, I was patient. I learned that lesson. You know, he does this thing where he uses his range where he pulls, and then as the fight progresses, he steps in instead of, so when I anticipate that he's gonna be far, he steps in close. That was one thing that flustered me in the last, in the first contest, because uh, I was uh, anticipating him to be far, and then he was here. So I anticipated that a bit better, and I was lighter with my shots and slapping him a bit, but I just had to be patient, not fall into my shots, not rush. I, I anticipated him to be there for the full five rounds, and he was. So the game plan worked like, like my coach, John Cavanagh's book, which is in stores now, Win or Learn. We, we learned this time, and that's it. I'm very grateful for it. I'm very happy with how, how it went. What, what was the impact of the kicks early? You kicked a lot early in the fight, and what do you think that set up for you? I tell you what, fuck leg kicks. My leg is in bits after them. I never threw leg, I don't really throw leg kicks. I mean, I've thrown maybe three in, in my whole career. I've thrown about three. Usually, inside, if I'm fighting orthodox people, and people in the featherweight division, my own, about five, eight, five, seven, even. It's an orthodox. It's a little bit more risky, but this time you have to hit the legs on him. So we we practice leg kicks, um, and I tell you what, he's got pretty good at checking them. He's he's not what he was. Um, He's able to handle the leg kicks now. He's, he's a lot more seasoned with them. So, but I just kept kicking. Um, it, it's, I'm sure it set up some of the shots that I landed. It took the mind. I, I didn't just head hunt. I hit the leg, I hit the body. Um, I didn't overload on my shots. And I, I had some clean work in there tonight. I look forward to watching it back. When he stepped in a few times, I threw some elbows as well. I tell you what, man, his face was open up and he's still just coming. He's still just coming at me. You've got to respect that. You've got to respect Nate and, and, and the style of fighting that he brings. Um, how can you not? And two other things. Uh, you lost once other in your career, and, and obviously this loss in UFC 196 meant hurt you a lot more. Why was it that this one had so much meaning? Was it just the significance of the fight? Uh, I don't know. Just the way it all went down, you know what I mean? I'm sitting back and looking at everyone... You know, I, I don't care what anyone says. I help bring this game to another level. You can, you can deny, they can deny that all they want, but I did. Like, look at Nate's pores tonight. Look at Nate's pores after the force fight. Look at everyone's, everyone's game has gone up, money-wise. Um, and I helped do that. So after that fight when I lost, and I'm looking at all these people, and they're all celebrating my demise and saying I'm done and this. and. Um, it certainly lit a fire under my belly. Every single person doubted me. Every single fighter doubted me. Doubt me now. And then lastly, I just wondered, uh, do you, are you willing to fight Aldo at 145? Uh, I mean, how, how long was I going back and forth with Jose? That must have been a two-year build-up. He pulled out last minute. I continued to fight someone else. Then we rescheduled a two-year round-the-world deal with that boy, and then he stepped in and I beat him in 13 seconds. It, I mean, it's hard for me to get excited about that, especially after his last performance. It was a decision. It wasn't, it didn't seem like a, f he, he didn't go out and get it. You know, he didn't go out and get it like I wanted him to get it. Um, so I, I don't know. Look, we'll see. I'm the 145-pound champion. The interim 145-pound champion is a man that I KO'd in 13 seconds. I've got to figure out what's next. But right now, I don't, I don't know what's next. There's, there's many, many things in the pipeline. So sit tight. Connor, um, of course, when they were reading the scorecards, the one judge read, uh, scored it as a draw. What was going through your mind as that was coming out? Were you sure that you had the fight won, or was there some concern? Well, I felt um, I felt I won the fight. Um, I felt three three two was was a fair result. I mean that first round, in my opinion, was a ten eight. I dropped them and it was it was a handy round that first one. So I I would have given that first round a ten eight. Um, but look, whatever they see, they see I, I won that fight and I'm happy with it. Um, 
my respect to the opponent. He's a hell of a competitor. Okay, and uh, Dana said on ESPN tonight that if you don't go back to 145 and fight Aldo, you have to be stripped of the belt. Is that something, you know, how soon are you going to make a decision of doing if that? They, if they want to, if they, I don't think they're going to do that. I mean, how can they do that? If they want to do that, if they want to give my belt to the guy I KO'd in 13 seconds and bury that division in the prelims or the fight pass stuff, because that's what they're going to do. Um, I mean... We'll see. I don't. How, how can they do that? What What would that do to the division, if the guy I KO'd in 13 seconds is the unified champion? So, we've got a lot to talk about. But I'm in a beautiful, beautiful position right now, um, and that was built through hard work, and I'm going to capitalize on that. You know, again, we'll see. There's a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Shit's about to hit the fan, I feel. So we'll see.